see you in here. Hey, buddy. What you doing? I know you're scared. But um, hiding under a bed isn't really going to solve your problems. Look, listen to me. I know it's scary. But ostriching, as I call it, um, you know, burying your head in the sand and not facing your problems is not going to work. I know that life can get pretty tough sometimes. You're lying under your bed. And I don't judge. I'm not, um, I'm not judging you. I'm your friend and I'll always be here for you. It's just, I know, I know. Um, but come on, I mean, there's a whole world out there, you know, that's not underneath your bed. And it's a great world. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been living in it for a while, and I don't think I ever hid under my bed, probably mainly because of the irrational to some people, but perfectly rational to me, fear of spiders. Do you want to get attacked? I mean, do you want to get eaten alive? Because I don't want you to, and... I know that everything seems hopeless at the moment, but it's not. I mean, you've got your whole life ahead of you. You got so many experiences to experience and things to learn and do and explore. The only thing holding you back is fear. I mean, what are you scared of? If you knew, if you knew that you were invincible, Okay, and that nothing could ever hurt you, and you knew the exact date that you were gonna go into the next world, and it was years and years from now, and you couldn't get hurt along the way, not even a broken arm or whatever, would you do everything that you dreamed of? Yeah, you probably would, because I would. You could fall down the stairs, you know, just doing your day-to-day -day normal life. You could, you could, um, you know, you could starve to death under here if someone forgot to feed you. So, if you could get hurt doing all the normal, boring, day-to-day -day routines. What difference would it make if you went beyond that and explored a bigger world? You know? People even die falling on a knife in their dishwasher. How crazy is that? And it's not funny. It's not funny at all. But anyway, Um, you're a great person, and you've always been there for me, so I'm gonna be here for you, okay? You know what, um, you don't have to come out if you don't want to right now. Uh, we could, you know, do something. Um... I don't really have anything. Actually, I don't have any games. I was gonna suggest maybe we play something, but no. Uh, do you wanna, um, I don't know, 
read a book? You know, I have this great book. I have this great book. It's, um, it's inspirational. Actually, it's called 59 Seconds. Think a little, change a lot. And I thought it would work for you because it basically just talks about things, mm, you know, um, even crazy things like how to lose weight, um, talking about, um, you know, y your goals and what's stopping you from achieving them and what you really want to achieve and everything and it's a really, really good book. Okay, we don't have to read, um, we don't have to do anything. We can just talk. But I'm really uncomfortable in this position, so I'm going to have to move. So, um... Do you, um... Do you want me to sing to you? Because I know that, you know, that time you were ill and, uh, you know, you couldn't get to sleep and, um, you were really kind of annoyed about that and, uh, you said that me singing to you kind of was the only thing that could relax you. I can do that. Um, okay, um... I know you like this one. I got a little gas coming up, so I'm sorry if I burp halfway through. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Exactly, your favorite show, right? The Big Bang Theory. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Okay, what about this one? Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Down will come baby cradle and all And I don't know the words that baby's gonna fall Um Uh, maybe, um Um, I, I don't know, maybe like What, what other, what other lullaby songs are there out there? Um Um, how about you come out from under the bed and we can face your fears together? No? Okay. Um, look. Um, okay. Can I show you something? I'm trying to distract you, okay? I don't know. <sighs> Look. Okay. 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 Uh, just, um, that hurt my head, okay? Hold on. 
second. Okay, I'm totally gonna gonna do something cool. So, uh, you gonna come out from under there, or what? Huh? Cause, don't make me lift you. Don't make me pick you up. Cause you and me both know that I can't do that. I am far too small to lift your ass. So you gotta get yourself out of there. Okay? Okay? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, okay, Ben. That, you know, it's really enough. <laughs> this guy, you know, just, he just, he just can't, he can't rush it, okay? Yeah, but he's a lot stronger, you know, than, than you think he is, and, uh, and uh, you know, I just, I just, you know, what do you mean he? Okay, you don't know what he is. What it is. No offense. He's just a toy. Okay, he's got no eyes. You can't see, so it's irrelevant. Anyway. But seriously, just come on. Okay? Why don't you just face your fears and then everything is gonna be okay? I promise. You know why? Because we're gonna face our fears together. I swear. That's so sweet, Ben, you know, just... <sighs> but seriously... You can't stay under here forever, realistically, because I'm not feeding you. And we all know that humans need food, eventually. And, uh... think that you are a lot stronger than you think you are. And, um, just imagine how good you're gonna feel when you finally overcome whatever it is that's keeping you under here. You're gonna feel great. You really are. And Ben and I are gonna go and we want you to follow us. Okay? Are you up for it? Really? Awesome, because I'm gonna cook you your favorite meal. I'm gonna make you your favorite drink. Alcohol or non-alcohol. I don't care what it is. Hot, cold, whatever. And I'm gonna take you to your favorite place. 